Hi everyone, it's Kai. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to a brand new speed build video. And before I narrate this video, I would like to wish everyone a very happy new year, happy 2022, and I hope you have a great year ahead with some blessed days and nights <laughs> and more to come. So I'm really excited to start this year because I'm moving into a new place. So this is the last video that I am recording or I recorded actually on the 31st of December before moving into a new place and this will be up probably in early January so yeah happy to happy new year to you guys and I wish you all the best with the rest of the year but today we are going to be building I would like to call a little pier home in Brindleton Bay and it is a very cute home in my opinion um, and the lot that we are building this house on is Cat Scratch Cottage where there is a household that consists of a young crazy cat lady um, with a lot of cats and I'm not sure how many cats she has but I believe this is the pre-made household that came with the cats and dogs pack so that's what we're building and the color scheme of this build is blue and white i think a lot of blues and grays and muted colors and i really like how this build turned out because it is a very cute one initially i intended to do a build that is more like very solid build um and i i pictured that the extension that you see on the right side of the screen over here isn't there but i thought that i would add that extension since it would look much more cuter <laughs> but um this house only fits one sim so it is very small and it is quite suburban um it has that suburban i mean it has that suburban look <laughs> but it is not like a proper suburban it's more of like a single bachelor house suburban type of home and i really hope you guys will like this build because it is one of my favorites I would say because it is very cute and I really like the color scheme that I went for. As you can see, I went for this kind of rusty look for the roofs over there and I think I will be um, experimenting with the roof types after this but I will be also using this orange roofing from the Isla Living Pack which is kind of zinc uh, texture and I thought that this would be the perfect um, roof since the lot that we are building on is on the pier or the decks or the docks I mean um, where the ships are and surrounding it as you can see is a lot of cafes and stuff like that so yeah that's what I had in mind I had this picture that it was a kind of rusty home but it is a nice rusty home so um, I really hope you guys will like this build if you want to download this build on the gallery it will be under my ID which is Simmerkai and the title of this build that you will find in the gallery would probably be little pier home or house or something along the lines of that and as you can see the structure is already uh, made and we are working on the landscaping right now and i use a lot of debug items um like that cottage living uh planter box over there i'm not so sure if it's functional because i've never used that thing <laughs> um when playing games as in like in life mode live mode uh but i don't think it's functional anyways there's also a trash area over there which i just randomly put because i thought that it would be different <laughs> a different look for this type of build and then i also put in this sign with the anchor and i pictured that it is also it can be actually like a rental lot maybe a bnb &B that your sims can go to and it is very very cute um but this house also has an outdoor area which there will be some uh, planter boxes and also i initially wanted to put a barbecue area over there but it didn't really fit so i thought you know maybe i should change things up a bit when it comes to decorating the outside area so i just built a small area for some activities for your sim to actually do like painting and chess and also some planter boxes and flower arrangement table from the seasons pack and then over here you can see i'm decorating the walls i thought that the walls look too empty without any decorations on it so i decided to put in the crawling veins that 
came from get together pack and I really like the look of it and although it is a rusty home it kind of looks very nice because of the uh the living things <laughs> that are decorated for the house for the exterior and overall the color scheme for the inside is also blue and white as well you can see that over here i'm just adjusting the counters and i didn't really know how to adjust them because i wanted to put in a stove and then with the shoot also <laughs> so at first i was adjusting the counters to see if i could fit in and overlap them but i didn't think it was nice and efficient when it comes to like play testing it so instead i just switched things around and about um with the fridge and the stuff to make it look more sensible and also you know functional and this house is fully functional even though it is super tiny as um, I think it is super tiny, I'm not so sure if you think it is, but um, it is fully functional and uh, um, you don't really have to worry about your sim not having to uh, access some places in this house, so it's, it's very very nice in my opinion. And I also imagine that there is a cat living here with the household that comes with it. Um, even though I built this house using the existing household, I think that you know, you can always change the sim that lives here. Um, you don't necessarily have to use the existing household that came with the lot. Um, so that is up to you. But anyways, this over here is going to be the living room slash dining room. And it is a very small space. Initially, I had trouble, like, you know, fitting things <laughs> um, uh, with each other, like the dining table with the couch and also because there is not a lot of space but in the end, you know, at first, I mean, it was kind of like doubtful for me because I thought that if I were to put this dining set table under the stairs, it wouldn't work but surprisingly, when I put it there, it worked! Um, like right under the stairs so that is a new thing that I learned today <laughs> um, and as you can see it's pretty cozy looking and I used the rug that came with the I think it is the my first pet stuff stuff pack um, and I really like the look of it it really looks modern but I think that it fits this more of suburban home and over here you see that I'm just adjusting the chairs and trying to see which position fits and at first I was trying to decide whether to put the dining room next to the kitchen uh, where the hallway door is or under the stairs and both of these positions worked so I decided to just put them under the stairs so that there is more space for me to put next to the hallway door over here so I put in a small fireplace from the eco lifestyle pack and I also put that a pet bed over there but in the end I will be removing that because it is not functional as in your sim cannot access the fireplace when the pet bed is there so I removed it off camera but you can always add in later on if you want um, but maybe somewhere else in this house so that your sim can actually light up the fireplace and also have their pet rest on the pet bed and also this house is um, a two-story house at the bottom is where the toilet and also the kitchen and living room dining room all is over there but upstairs is where the bedroom is and also the study area over here it is a pretty simple layout in my opinion um, so it is very basic and I think sometimes basic is also nice <laughs> so there are not a lot of things that your sims can do when they live in here but it has all the necessities that your sim needs such as you know um filling up the the status bar <laughs> i'm not so sure what it's called but like the boredom the hygiene and all that <laughs> i'm not so sure what it's called but anyways over here is the only master bedroom and it is pretty simple and this is going to be the last part which is the exterior of the house. I ended up decorating it with a bunch of planter boxes, a um, paint easel, <laughs> um, and also a chess table and a flower arrangement. 
table. So that's basically it for the house. So that will be the end of the video as well. If you like this build and you want to download it, it's already up in the gallery under my ID, which is Simurkai. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And I hope, I hope, <laughs> I hope to talk to you guys in my next video. Bye!